This story comes to us from people.com. I know some of you may be against calling the police for anything. Don't call the police for help. But this one, I'll give grandma a pass. Because grandma's pretty smart. And, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, as one of these guys found out. There was three of them. One of them was, they were, he must have been the dumbest one in the crowd. They were like, who's going to get the money? I don't know. You don't get the money. No, you get the money. Okay. I'll go get it. They picked the dumbest guy. So when a 73-year-old grandmother who has to be only identified by her first name of Jean received a bizarre phone call from her grandson, she knew she was being lied to. The quick thinking of this 73-year-old Seaford grandmother who only wants her first name used, Jean, is being credited for taking down an alleged predator. I knew he was a real scammer. I just knew he wasn't going to scam me. The former 911 dispatcher says Thursday morning she received a call from someone claiming to be one of her grandsons. The caller said he had been arrested for drunk driving and was in jail. He starts calling me grandma. And then I'm like, I don't have a grandson that drives, so I knew it was a scam. Now, according to a statement from the Nassau County Police Department, Jean ended up speaking to a second man claiming to be her grandson's lawyer who said they needed eight grand for bail and a third man who claimed to be a bail bondsman nearby who could pick up the money. He's the dumb one. He's the, I'm the bail bondsman. He. So she told CBS2, I told him I had the money in the house and suggested he come pick it up. Jean says she immediately knew the call was a hoax, but decided to play along for fun. After several calls back and forth, a person claiming to be her grandson's lawyer told her he needed $8,000 for bail. Oh, I told him I had the money in the house, and I figured he's not going to fall for that. Well, he fell for that hook, line, and sinker. Meantime, Jean also called police. When a man pretending to be a bail bondsman arrived to collect the cash, she handed him an envelope filled with paper towels. Waiting officers then pounced and took 28-year-old Joshua Estrella Gomez from Mineola into custody. Now, it's not clear if Gomez entered a plea to the charge against him or retained a lawyer who could speak on his behalf. This guy's too dumb to afford a lawyer. Though Jean was able to catch Gomez in a lie, not all people are so fortunate, and they talk about how, according to data from the FBI, millions of Americans fall for elder fraud each year. It's terrible, it sucks, and I'm telling you, I love when they call me because I get to do a YouTube video showing how stupid they are. Police say the suspect was arrested and charged with attempted grand larceny in the third degree. He was issued a desk appearance ticket and will be arraigned on February 3rd. Police say elder scams like this one are rampant. Officers are asking the community to be on alert. Speak to your families. Speak to your neighbors. Visit those that are vulnerable. Let them know. Don't listen to these scams. These individuals sit at home and have nothing else to do but think of a way to take advantage of our elderly. Jean is also asking people to watch out. So I feel like gotcha, and I feel like, um, like you say, so many people fall for this, and you only hear about it on the other end after they've lost $8,000. She hopes her story will serve as a cautionary tale for others and is glad no one was hurt in the process. In Seaford, Long Island, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. But, you know, Nassau County Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder wrote in a, a tweet following Gomez's arrest, Please take time to speak to your elderly parents, grandparents, or neighbors about these scams. When in doubt, call 911. And I know some of you are going to go, don't call 911. But, you know, in this case, grandma gets a pass because this idiot, I love it. I love it, man. I would have loved to have been there to record it, just watching this idiot go, I'm getting eight grand. Thank you, grandma. Oh, cops. Hey, I'm just picking up eight grand. Oh, yeah, you're picking up paper towels and going to jail. You're going to need them. Because you're going to have to wipe the blood off your booty.